You have arrived. Welcome to the Aspie World. Here's where we talk about anything and everything ASD in an upbeat and informative way. And now, here's your man on the spectrum, your autism ambassador, Daniel Morgan Jones. Hey guys, so here are 10 lesser known physical signs of autism in girls. I'm going to get straight into it right now. Guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan and I have autism. So if you want to learn more on this journey with me, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You don't want to miss a video. Click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload videos. Okay guys, so I have an Autism Life Hacks PDF book you can download for free from autismhacks.net right now. Okay, so 10 lesson on physical signs of autism in girls. So the first one I'm going to talk about is sensory processing issues. Now, girls uh, will experience sensory processing issues by being um, sensitive to touch, sound, light, um, you know, seeking out sensory environments. Like they may really like plushies or, 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 or like squish mallows or something like that. But then they'd also have an aversion to things like Velcro or slime. Which is really interesting because you have sensory seeking attitudes and the sensory avoiding attitudes as well. Number two is delay in motor skill development. Now this could be uh, fine motor skills like picking up like pens or putting keys indoors to you know macro worlds where you're trying to pick up a glass and not drop it. These are physical signs of autism that will present themselves in females. Number three is difficulty with sexual communication. Girls who are on the autism spectrum will have a difficulty in social communication, which will be more apparent when they're trying to write a letter, incident message, or but do like an academic kind of conversational piece. This will be struggling for them because they will not really understand the social implications of a conversation and social communication. And before is repetitive behavior. This is kind of like doing the same thing over and over again. It could be um, stimming, rocking backwards and forwards, hand flapping, you know, tapping their fingers together, twiddling their fingers together, twiddling their hair a lot, eating their hair. This is all self-estimulatory behavior or stimming which is a repetitive behavior but it's a physical kind of manifestation that you could recognize and notice and number five is difficulty with transitions as is transitioning from being at school to being at home or vice versa or being at home to being at the grocery store all these things become very difficult and what you'll find a lot of the time is the girl will really avoid doing the thing that has to change so they'll just stay at home or pretend to be sick so they stay at home this will happen a lot, especially in social situations. This will become more apparent. Number six is eating disorders. Actually, some girls with autism will be picky eaters or have difficulty with food textures, not to mention social pressure and peer pressure from school, where it's more prominent in girls to have more anxiety around food since there's a social convention with things like that for young girls, which is horrible, but it happens. But autism girls are, are very more susceptible to that because of the neurological condition and the naivety of, of social communication. So number seven is sleeping issues. Now, there's problems including like difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, regulating sleep patterns, actually hitting REM. It's going to be difficult because the mind of an autistic female is going a thousand miles an hour and they are trying to regulate themselves constantly and could very well come out in sleep issues. Number eight is anxiety and depression because autism and neurological condition, it does come with mental health issues and anxiety and depression, unfortunately, are some of the ugly ones that do rear their head for autistic individuals who are female. So, number nine is an unusual walk. So, some females in the autism spectrum may have an unusual walking style. Now, this could be down to a motor delay or a sensory processing issue where they could be experiencing the feeling of walking on the floor quite uncomfortable and quite difficult. So, number 10 is hypertonia. Now, hypertonia is a low muscle density or a low muscle tone, which is like a physical sign of autism in girls, which means that the microdevelopment for holding pens and other kind of small objects will be difficult because they'll have low muscle tone in their actual arms and they could be actually diagnosed with something called hypermobility also. Now, guys, if this video is interesting and educational, please share it on social media, give it a like, and leave me a comment. I'd love to read all your comments. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this podcast. Make sure you are subscribed because there are people listening right now who are not subscribed to this podcast. I can see you. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.